the Southern Organization, uh, one of IIED's hallmarks, even before COVID, were long-standing relationships, which uh, are equal, which uh, seek to respond to demands that we make or identify challenges that they see which are coming our way. And uh, as a trustee, you realize that that's quite a remarkable relationship. As soon as the sort of full extent of the, the pandemic started to reveal itself, it also became clear that people really, really didn't know how uh, the pandemic was unfolding in informal settlements. We didn't really understand who was getting COVID. We, we didn't have an idea, any idea about what a lockdown might look like. So we started to set up weekly calls with our long-term partners. Andy and uh, the heads of the different departments would be in touch with us to check what we were doing, what were we finding. And you need relationships of trust here to be able to talk about the confusion, the dismay, the crisis that lockdown brings. People were keen to see some analysis of how communities were responding. We published a series of synthesis reports, which also provided a platform for marginalised groups to publish their experiences. Providing the opportunity for our partners to, to make short videos on the experience of refugees or displaced people in slums in Nairobi, or for example, um, was an easier way for us to be able to convey the realities of what was going on on the ground, given how quickly the situation was changing. So these, these kind of um, informal... Um, multimedia pieces and synthesis pieces were the, the beginning point for a conversation and from that um, some of us went on to develop policy briefings for our partners to be able to engage with international agencies. We also welcome blogs from external contributors about how communities worldwide were responding including one about community soup kitchens in Lima a project that aimed to strengthen food security among the urban poor. I saw that you have a dedicated series for COVID-19 response, and I thought this is a perfect space to share a lot of the things that are going on in, in my home country. And when I reached out, I was welcomed, and it was very a very positive response from the very beginning. I didn't really see any sort of discussion in an English language academic platform uh, about these community-led soup kitchens. When it came out in Spanish, it was mostly for, for government, for community leaders. Uh, they felt heard, they felt seen. A lot of them shared the blog all throughout their social media. What this year showed was that regardless of these crises, the continuum of bringing local voices to global engagements, of allowing us to challenge global discourse, a lot of that can be seen in all the various uh, events and activities and engagements that IID has taken up. In short, I would say that such challenges test the robustness of relationships. And I think in this, as a trustee, I feel very good that IID came up to that challenge.